The Enforcement Directorate was granted five days custody of Aam Aadmi Party Rajya Sabha MP and one of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's close confidants, Sanjay Singh. Dinesh Arora, an accused allegedly already named in the case, turned approver and has allegedly named Sanjay Singh, stating that he was one the one who connected Arora with Manish Sisodia, the other arrested AAP leader who was the then excise minister of Delhi. The ED alleges that Sanjay Singh's case and Dinesh Arora's cases are linked and that one crore rupees were delivered to Sanjay Singh's residence by Dinesh Arora's employees. The arrest has sparked off a sharp reaction from the Aam Aadmi Party. Arvind Gunashekaran has the latest. Brought into court after his arrest yesterday, our leader Sanjay Singh attacked the BJP as he went in. Singh was arrested after day-long searches at his home. The day after, businessman and liquor scam accused Dinesh Arora turned approver. Today in court, the enforcement directorate said that an Arora employee, Sarvesh, gave 2 crore rupees to Sanjay Singh and that money was delivered to Sanjay Singh's house. The money was delivered to Sanjay Singh on two different days and they further added that they have corroborated the mobile location of Sarvesh and seized digital evidence from Sanjay Singh's premises. They added that there is a need to confront Sanjay Singh with digital evidence and that there is a link to proceeds of the crime. In the middle of proceedings, Sanjay Singh stood up in court and said that everything is a lie and that he's saying that with folded hands. The enforcement directorate objected to his statement in court, saying that it was not a political forum. Earlier in the day, Aam Aadmi Party supporters protested against Sanjay Singh's arrest outside BJP offices in Delhi, Mumbai and Chandigarh. Speaking on the arrest, BJP chief JP Nadda said that the Aam Aadmi Party was steeped in corruption. The court has given the enforcement directorate custody of Sanjay Singh for five days. With Arvind Gunasekar in New Delhi, NDTV Bureau report. As we know, these arrests uh, are in the much-publicized Delhi, Delhi liquor policy case, which was basically allegations of kickbacks to the Aam Aadmi Party leaders for the Delhi liquor policy of 2021, which was subsequently withdrawn. After a report from a bureaucrat alleged corruption, the Lieutenant Governor asked for a CBI probe. The Enforcement Directorate is looking into money laundering allegations against the AAP leaders and others. AAP has dismissed the charges as political vendetta. So, who has been arrested so far uh, in, the, in that case? Vijay Nair... Aap, uh, uh, Samir Mahendru, liquor retailer, Buchi Babu, ex-chartered accountant of BRS leader K. Kavita, uh, Raghava, YSR, MP's son, Manish Sisodia, Delhi's deputy chief minister, Sanjay Singh, the latest arrest of the Aam Aadmi Party, Rajya Sabha MP. Those are the people who were arrested. But the list may not end there. There are other AAP leaders under the scanner including the top man. Arvind Kejriwal himself was questioned in April. Jasmine Shah, top AAP leader, was also questioned by the Enforcement Directorate. But this goes beyond the AAP itself. The others under the scanner uh, from K. Kavita of the Bharatiya Rashtriya Samiti, uh, BRS chief and Telangana chief minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao's daughter, she was also arrested, however strongly denied her involvement in this case. The ED claims there was something known as the South Group, as the ED calls it, and arrested Buchi Babu, who was Kavita's chartered accountant, as I mentioned earlier. Agency sources claim that Buchi Babu was the representative of the South Group in the Delhi liquor scam. They've made allegations against Kavita, MS Reddy of the YSRCP and Sharat Reddy of Urbindo Pharma in the case. They claim that the South Group gave 100 crores in advance for license in the Delhi liquor policy. All of them have firmly de denied any involvement. The main catch for the agencies uh, was this man, Dinesh Arora. Industrialist turned approver in the liquor scam. Arora is to testify as a government witness on the 14th of November. Sanjay Singh was arrested a day after Arora turned government witness. Dinesh Arora had told the court he would uh, reveal it all. The Enforcement Directorate claims that Sanjay Singh was the link between Dinesh Arora and Manish Sisodia and that Arora once met Kejriwal at Sanjay Singh's residence. 
IT, uh, it, uh, the ED also claims that Arora arranged election funds for the Aam Admi Party at Sanjay Singh's behest and that Dinesh Arora delivered two crores to Sanjay Singh's residence. Uh, they also claim that Dinesh Arora took accused businessman Amit Arora to Sanjay Singh's home and Singh told Amit Arora to accommodate his aides in the liquor business. In return, Sanjay Singh would take Amit Arora to Sisodia and Sisodia, which is Manish Sisodia, assured both Dinesh and Amit Arora excise policy would be tweaked. These are all, of course, allegations of the Enforcement Directorate, which will have to be substantiated and proven in a court of law. Dinesh Arora is a prominent figure in Delhi's restaurant industry. So that sort of sets up the whole uh, uh, a uh, whole case of the Enforcement Directorate. Remember, Sanjay Singh had earlier written to the then Finance Secretary denying any of these charges. Sanjay Singh had claimed that his name was being used to tarnish uh, Dinesh Arora's name and the allegations are being used to tarnish his image. Uh, joining us now in terms of what's next for the Aam Aadmi Party, where the case can go, is uh, Sanjay Singh, senior journalist, Huda Zariwala, political analyst and Aam Aadmi Party supporter. Also, Ashutosh Srivastav, uh, advocate at the Supreme Court. Uh, before I get to the political analyst and the journalist on the panel, Ashutosh, first tell us, uh, yeah. what are the potential consequences of this case legally? A, because there has been some conversation, obviously, uh, some observation by the court which was turned into a conversation across the board about the possibility of ARP itself being named uh, in the case. Is it even possible? What would be the consequences of that? Uh, see, as we know that uh, due investigation has been taken place uh, by the ED and accordingly uh, certain arrests were made and here also, when this Arora turned approver, based on the statement given by him and maybe the other witnesses to this case, uh, the ED came to a conclusion that uh, this particular accused may also be arrested uh, for the purpose of further investigation. And as we know that uh, previously also the charge sheet was submitted, but uh, uh, additional, uh, that is a supplementary charge sheet is being filed. So uh, this is how any investigation takes place. Now, so far as arrest is concerned, obviously after the arrest, uh, uh, a person is required to be produced before the concerned trial court within 24 hours. And then that concerned trial court will see uh, whether the custodial interrogation of that person is required or not, or if it is required for how many days. And accordingly, uh, the arguments took place uh, uh, between the ED and, and the defense. And accordingly, uh, the trial court was convinced to grant a uh, five days custodial remand for further investigation and to find out if there is any substance uh, or uh, any such kind of uh, money which can be recovered or anything uh, related to the case can be recovered. So it is, I can say, it is the uh, investigation is still in prog progress uh, so far as uh, uh, the arrest of this particular accused is concerned. Mm. Now, after that, uh, the after five days are elapsed then again he will be produced right. for the same trial court where the court will further see if there is any further requirement of uh, custodial interrogation and if these five days have been uh, fruitful for the investigating agency that is ed in this case uh, to come to any conclusion or to have any recoveries or to link him to any such kind of uh, uh, crime which has uh, uh, which is at least to have happened or maybe has been is his involvement into right. the case. So this is how any investigation takes place. Right, you're right. Th that's how ED investigations yeah. takes place. So Huda Zariwala, before I go to Sanjay Singh, Huda Zariwala, where does this leave yes. the AAP, uh, you know, in terms of both functioning, in terms of its politics, seems to be in a very, very difficult spot right now? Uh, well, not really, because the entire country is witnessing uh, the arrest of Sanjay Singh Ji and clearly how the central agencies are being used um, at the whims and fancies of the ruling BJP. Um, I mean, the case investigation keeps going on. It will, uh, you know, I mean, it will not end according to the ED. It's been going on for months. Uh, around a thousand raids have been done. Around 500 officers of the ED and CPI combined have conducted raids at several places, both um, for the, um, you know, Manish Sudeji, our leaders and um, 
obviously Sanjay Singh Ji as well. I mean, and yet they haven't found a single shred of evidence, which only goes on to show that, um, you know, the ED um, is clearly not doing its job right. Let us also not forget that this is the same ED who had initially mentioned the name of uh, Sanjay Singh Ji and then had to apologize for the same. And uh, honestly, I mean, uh, it is a current uh, ruling of the Supreme Court as well that um, if the AAP in fact did benefit from the Delhi's, um, you know, now scraped uh, liquor policy, why it is not an accused in the money laundering case um, relating to the um, alleged irregularities by both the agencies. And um, also, let us not forget um, Dinesh Arora, who was a star witness, was, um, you know, made an accused later uh, by both the agencies, meaning the ED right. and the CBI, and now he turned a prover to the case. There are so in, so many irregularities in the case um, to begin with. Um, I mean, bomb, even against Manish Sodia G, not a single shred of evidence is found. There is no money trail that has been found. And also for Sanjay Singh Ji, nothing has so far been yet proven. Nothing is found against him. He right. was questioned for so many hours. His home was searched entirely. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Nothing has been found as yet. So clearly, clearly the ED um, is um, being used at the, the, you know, by, uh, you know, unrightfully by the BJP, by the Modi government. And uh, even at this time around, nothing will be proven against Sanjay Singh Ji. You know, that's a matter of time. Sanjay Singh, uh, senior journalist also with us. Uh, Sanjay, the road ahead for the AAP seems to be a difficult one right now. Yes, we have uh, a very difficult uh, road, uh, more so because whatever Arvind Kejriwal promised uh, when he came into politics and thereafter, uh, subsequently, there is a uh, sea difference between what he promised and what he has delivered and what he was seen to be and what he is uh, depends on a whole lot of things. The issue of political vendetta, which is uh, generally said, if you remember uh, when Jitan Singh Tomar, a minister in our government, was first uh, kind of accused of fake degree. Then again, there was uh, the discharge of vendetta. I remember BJP central office being harrowed by our leaders and workers. And ultimately, what happened? It was proved that uh, Jitan Singh Tomar had a uh, uh, fake degree and he claimed to be fake degree and subsequently he was removed from Delhi cabinet. Now, on the question on the issue, this is kind of the, the, the allegations. The charges of legal scam has reached a bit as we all do steps. Arvind Kejriwal, as we know, as Chief Minister does not, so far, was not signing on any of the papers. He was not minister in charge of any department. And therefore, if you see Manish Sisodia, closest kind of a political aide, you call it colleague, his closest colleague, most trusted lieutenant, uh, is in jail for the last seven, eight months. And court, in fact, said that there was prima facie involvement of Manish Sisodia. He was active participant and therefore the bail was not granted. At this moment, that particular case is before Supreme Court, so I would not make any further comments on that. And same, uh, same, similar arguments were put forward. Remember, finding a cash, if there was nothing against Manish Sisodia or in that case, uh, Satendra Gar, uh, now Satendra Jain, sorry. Now, in the case of uh, San Sanjay Singh, this is an unfolding in investigation. Mm -hmm. At this moment, we know that somebody who was accused has turned a prover, and therefore, on base basis of allegations or claims made by him, and there, uh, besides further in other investigations that had gone into, he has been arrested. See, uh, ED has taken its time to prepare a case. And therefore, I think before jumping to conclusion that there is no proof, there has been no proof, if there was no proof, Sisodia would not have been there for so long and Kota would not have made such observations. As for making Supreme Court observation about making Aam Army Party, that is a very contentious issue. I have, okay. in my, in, I have not heard uh, naming an institution as an accused, particularly a political party as such. Uh, that, of course, will be deliberated in Supreme Court. That's a different area altogether. Okay. But at this moment, Arvind Kejriwal, Aam Admi Party is in a tight spot. Indy Alliance leaders have also not come out in the manner in which they used to come out in past, in recent past, not in uh, past. Okay. Uh, no, my quick question is in terms of functioning of the party itself, uh, we're running short of time. Uh, in terms of functioning of the party itself, first, Sanjay, 
then Huda, while the optics, while you know being victimized, all those things play in the larger optics of it. In terms of the very functioning of the party, would this cause a stress for the party heading into the 2024 polls? Sure, it does. Arvind Kejriwal politics, if you have seen uh, from the beginning, was to play a martyr, a victim, at the same time claim uh, himself a hero. And therefore, when this continues for far too long, there is a time when people people get concerned about that particular thing. He claims that he was the fighter, he was the main fighter amongst opposition politicians against corruption, against Modi, and therefore he is also putting India alliance at stress vis-a-vis okay. his, his own position. Okay, Huda? Well, honestly, we have seen how, uh, you know, more than a thousand raids have been conducted around more than 500 officers were behind, um, you know, um, uh, several readers. A lot of people have been arrested, um, including senior AAP leaders, and yet not a single penny has been recovered. Um, and yet on the other side, um, these are the very same leaders, especially Sanjay Singh Ji, who keep calling uh, against the corruption of the Modi government, who keep uh, pointing out different scams conducted time and again. Um, and yet there is not a single ED or CBI um, questioning or, uh, you know, taking into cognizance the matter at all. So let us not forget that these central agencies that are that were expected to function independently are clearly um, doing otherwise. Um, the country is watching uh, various senior leaders from, you know, Congress parties and other part uh, the other parties have come out openly in favor of uh, Sanjay Singh Ji in particular, um, Aadmi Party in general. So clearly, um, you know, the Janta knows they will be okay. uh, voting uh, for the India alliances. Um, wow. This is something that even the BJP is aware of, which is why uh, they're taking these steps against the India alliance. Okay, there are political realities and then there are courtroom realities and then there are legal realities. We'll have to wait for all this to unfold. Uh, we'll keep a close watch on this uh, uh, developing uh, confrontation. Uh, thank you, all three of you, for joining us and giving us those uh, insights. Uh, that's all we have time for on Left, Right and Centre.